Hello everyone, it's Ahmad here and welcome to another lesson. Today I want to uh, explain a concept that is recurring in uh, lots of workflows uh, and I want you guys to get a hold of that concept and understand it more in depth because uh, it's just frequent and it's very important for you to grasp that concept. And today that concept will be polling. Uh, so I'm gonna create a workflow with you guys now uh, step by step and I'm gonna explain what polling is so you can easily use that in any workflow that you create. So let's start. Uh, I'm in N8N right now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is with polling meaning uh, we will of course uh, call up an HTTP request so we will need to uh, grab an HTTP request. In order for me not to create some, something from scratch I'm going to go to my HTTP request library. As you can see here, it's a library of more than, I think, 35 plus uh, HTTP requests, uh, all uh, configured, all easy for you to just grab, copy and paste. And this is what we're going to do now. I'm going to grab this key HTTP request. So uh, I want the request and the status. OK, I'm going to copy these. I'm going to go to my workflow. So the trigger is the first step uh, in any workflow, in any automation. It's the step that starts the automation. Now the trigger could be scheduled, could be manual, or could be uh, by an, an external factor, so, uh, for example, webhooks. But for our case, I'm going to start with a manual one. Uh, and the manual one, which means that it can only be activated using this button and this button. You cannot go ahead and activate it here because it is just manual. You need to press it for it to work. Okay, so now that we have our trigger here and we can uh, we can we can test it. Uh, I'm gonna Control V and paste the nodes that I took from the uh, library. By the way, this library you can find it inside of my community. It's available for you to download and you can just build workflows and agents very very easily. So. I got two requests the two requests that I that I wanted okay so the first one is the submit request so in case you don't know what key is key is is an API that accesses uh, lots of uh, uh, video uh, models and image models in our case we're going to use um, of course video 3 so key has access to that uh, so I'm going to connect it to the uh, manual uh, trigger here so here you can see it's already set up with everything with the endpoint. Of course, you're going to need to put in your uh, 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 your header and uh, uh, your authentication. For example, here uh, it's authorization and uh, API key. You you would get that from key, of course. Uh, and then it has everything set up here. You only need to change the prompt. Uh, and to do that, I generated a prompt here. So I'm going to copy this from ChatGPT and go back here and I'm going to paste the prompt here. We're going to use VO3 fast, which is a cheaper version of VO3. If you want the full optimized polished one, you just remove fast. Uh, so I have that set up. So this triggers and uh, sends the request in here. And this is, this is where polling comes in. So after we send the request, and I'm going to send it and just test sending it here. So I'm going to test uh, workflow. So there you go. So as you can see, uh, it sent the request and it gave us a success. And this is the task ID. Now, if you were to download the, uh, uh, if we were to, uh, to try to get the files instantly, it will not work because it's going to take time for it to create the video itself. And this is why we need polling. So here I have another uh, here uh, node here, which is called status, which basically um, checks the status of this. So if I run this now, it will give us back. So uh, it says, okay. So it says success. And uh, let's see. Aspect ratio, okay. So 
So if we were to run this again, so we have the success message. So the, it gave us back. So basically the response is null. So it's still not finished. And this is exactly why we need polling. So polling is basically waiting and checking over and over and over again if something is finished. In order to do that, you will need two nodes, an if node and a wait node. So if we go to if, so if you don't know what an if statement is, an if is a conditional. So it means if it were, if, if, if certain values exist, do this. If they don't, uh, do something else. And this is why if this is the condition bit here. So here we want to say if, uh, if the response is no, if the response is equal to, uh, let's grab this, is if it's equal to no, that means it's not finished. So what, what we can do is if it's not equal, right? If it's not equal to no, then it's true and continue. But if it is equal to no, then we need to wait. And this is why we do another wait node here and we'll wait, for example, for, um, 20 seconds, for example. Okay, so now if it's true, it continues. And if it's false, it waits. So after it waits, what will it do ag again? So here, the, there is an end here to the automation. And this is why we need to link this back here. So what we're saying, and, is, and you can see here, we have this shape of a step, step shape here. This is what what's polling is. So this is exactly what polling is. So we have a node that checks the status, we have an if and we have a wait. This is a typical polling, okay? And so it goes back, uh, sorry, but it should go back here, yes. So uh, basically it goes back to and sends the status again. So you have this shape of uh, one status that checks and then if it is true or false, it will wait and then checks again. It, it will keep on looping and keep on checking over and over again until the condition is true. And one is true, it will proceed into the other, which is the next step. All right, so now let us check again what happened. So since I rec submitted the request, I will just pin this because so we don't use it again. So I'm gonna start this again. Okay, so it says, uh, okay, so, uh-huh, so what, what, we, what we should, we, now it's finished, but the condition was not true because what we should check if it exists or not, okay? So if it does not exist, let's go back again. So if it does not exist, then, uh, so basically the condition would be if the uh, the response, the object here, so it's an object, right? So it's an object. So we should go to the object if it exists and if it does not exist. So if it exists, then it's true. If this exists, then it's true. If it does not exist, then it's false. So let us do uh, start this over again. And you can see it's now true because the response object is true. If we go back here, the response object is true and we have the resulting URL here that we can check. But we can do another node. I think there's another node which is the get video here. So the this is just a simple HTTP request here. So we can get put that here. Okay, so let's uh, run this again. As you can see here, it gets the video that we can see here. All right, looks awesome. So let's test this again with another, uh, because now we have the polling uh, finished here. Okay, so let's test this again with another video. So let's uh, do another, uh, let's unpin this here. And then let's uh, maybe change. Let's change this to a shark, for example, or an octopus. Let's 
see if this let's uh, can you change this instead of a whale to an octave okay so here it will change it because there, there might be other instances of the world and I don't want to mess up the prompt so here we change the prompt and let's save and then let's start this again and see how this goes so as you can see it went here it's false it, it is waiting 20 seconds and this is exactly what polling is so it checks the status first and then there's a condition there's if now the condition is different between each api so this condition checks for an object other conditions will check for if uh, if the status is finished or succeeded or uh, or if it's done so it depends on the api so you need to go to the api documentation and check uh, the uh, when the status api thing uh, and uh, check the parameters of it what what message does it gives you sometimes the existence of something means it's finished and the uh, and if this doesn't exist means it's not and sometimes there's a message like succeeded finished and sometimes there's a percentage 100 percent 90 percent 80 percent so it depends on each uh, api but the whole concept of polling is the same uh, first we need to send the request then check the status and with the status is the first item inside of inside of the process of polling then once we check the status we have an if and the if checks if there are certain things inside uh, certain parameters exist or not if it's true then it's finished if it doesn't then it goes to a wait node and then loops back to the status okay and this step approach is what looping is okay uh, looping uh, is very important because lots of APIs, uh, as you can see now, it's finished. It took five rounds. So it's a good idea now that you know it took five rounds to multiply this by five uh, to not have these uh, happen more frequently, to have one or two. But we have our video here. There you go. This is really cool, by the way. <laughs> this is really nice. Uh, anyways, uh, so this is the process of polling. I'm going to call this polling. Uh, this is something you will inevitably use in your workflow, in your AI automations. So uh, just grasping that concept is very important for you guys to be quicker and faster and more efficient. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like subscribe for more videos and of course join in my school community so we can all grow together there there's a lot of really good stuff in there and i'm there to answer all your questions all right see you in the next one